clear. So hi, my dear friend, back to the fourth part. And here we're going to discuss about cell wall. Uh, in the cell wall, uh, well, you know, what is cell wall? Okay, that's that's a doubt. That's a common doubt which we have in our minds. Basically, cell wall is a you know clear cut understanding. Okay, now additional layer, special layer, which is only recommended for plants. Okay, you are not going to write in the, write this in exam just for your understanding. So it is an additional layer uh, to the cell membrane. It is an additional layer on the cell membrane which is only present in plant cells not in animal cells it is uh, you know rigid okay it is rigid and it is made up of cellulose now what is cellulose it's a complex substance and it also provides you know structural strength to plants it's pro it provides a strength a structural strength to plant, uh, you know, plants now uh, of course osmosis does occur in the cell wall too when a pl living plant cell loses water through osmosis there is shrinkage or a contraction of con of the contents of the cell away from the cell wall. So this phenomenon is known as plasmolysis. It's only in cell in I mean plant cells. We call it plasmolysis, and we can observe that phenomenon in the following cases again. How we had for osmosis before. Similarly here, the cell walls permit the cells of plants, fungi, bacteria to withstand very dilute hypotonic external media without bursting. Okay, in such media, the cell ten cells tend to take up water by osmosis. The cell swells up, building up pressure against the cell wall. The wall exerts equal pressure against the swollen cell. Because of their walls, such cells can withstand with greater changes in the surrounding medium from animal cells. Let me explain you. I know uh, I didn't take any photo. Like oh wait, oh, I've got a previous slide. Let me just uh, draw, even though my drawing is not that good. Now, when it takes a water, let me think. This is a cell content, right? This is a cell content, okay? And he, uh, you know, for example, it is, uh, of course, it swells up, right? It is swelling up. When it is swelling up, you could see over here, it's given that uh, whenever it swells up, it builds a pressure, like, you know, it will occupy this whole area, right? It builds a pressure on the cell wall, but cell wall is as rigid that it wouldn't burst, like how it happens in animal cells with the cell membrane. Okay, understanding the thing. So cell wall, uh, you know, exerts the same pressure. A fight, whatever you want fight, you wouldn't burst. I'm there to exert this pressure. It let it be equal. So we wouldn't burst. That is the intent. But whereas in cell membrane, I mean, in animal cells, it's not like that. Cell membrane is not that rigid as we think. It's not rigid, actually. Uh, it will burst off. Right. That is the difference what uh, we we are noticing over here. Okay. So that's all about cell wall. And yeah, it's this is uh, what we learned in cell wall. Okay. Let me just recall the topics. What is cell wall? It's a structure, a special and additional structural layer. Uh, for the plant cells and it is made up of cellulose okay cellulose gives uh, strength gives a structural strength to, to the plants and plasmolysis occurs there are a uh, few instances over here we even learned how the equal pressure is being exerted in order to uh, in order to uh, you know decrease the chances of being burst out so we understood what exactly the cell wall is i hope you understood Thank you. Signing off. Agastya.